What Comes from the Heavens by KMA Puck 72 days ago, we first caught sight of the object hurtling towards Earth. Pitch black, twice the size of the moon, it was on a collision course with Earth at tremendous speeds. We thought we were going to be destroyed. We kept it secret as long as possible. Of course, when it got out, there was widespread panic. Then something changed. 43 days ago, it began slowing considerably. The object started giving off electrical pulses. Fear turned to excitement. Could this be an alien species? We thought we were going to be contacted. The object deaccelerated even more. 28 days ago, it began changing shape. It started to spread out. The sphere started to break up, then continued to expand. Closer observations showed what we thought to be a solid object dissolving into trillions of smaller objects, roughly the size of a house, and the shape of a star with dozens of spiked protrusions. Over a day, they formed a net over Earth, just barely touching. Overnight, we detected far more habitable levels of cosmic radiation, and some of the recent climate issues we caused ourselves began to rectify. Electrical pulses continued. We tried to decode them without success. We began to prep a mission to send the shuttle out to the grid, as it was called. But then, yesterday, something changed. While it appears the grid was a completely immobile sphere around us, we quickly confirmed otherwise. Comparing ourselves to the other heavenly bodies in our solar system, we were moving. Today, Earth has moved hundreds of thousands of miles from its normal orbit. We are not simply being conquered. We are being taken.